Hey, Shalom. Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh. Say. Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh. Say. Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh. Say. All praise unto Yahweh. Bashim Yahshai. Bashim Makakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone and honest your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. <laughs> right. Back out here again for the grace and mercy of Yahweh. Bashim Yahshai. Bashim Makakadash. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get into this word. Yahweh. Bashim Yahshai. Ratzah. And um, going into the edification, okay. And um, there's a lot of things that are happening right now, okay. We're waiting for the chip to drop, okay. We're waiting for uh, 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 World War Three to start, and um, it's a beautiful time out here for uh, 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 the brothers that are in the faith, okay. Because we're right now at the precipice of our Lord's return, okay. The imminent return of the Heavenly Father's Son, Yahweh Shai, of which when He was going to return, He was going to re-establish the world, the order within the world. So that it was going to be a righteous order and it, in it in it being a righteous order he was going to have peace magnified on the earth okay and not only peace life was going to flow abundant okay but in order to get to the peace we're going to go through the cloudy day okay the scripture says that the day of the lord is going to be as a, as a as a thief in the night but it was also going to be a cloudy day and this is the day that the lord was going to return it okay it was going to be a, a, a day of darkness man okay but through that darkness okay with that light up on the hill was going to be established as a government within the within, within the world, and in be a, in established a government within the world, righteousness was going to flow through through the earth. So let's start getting into some scriptures. And I flow within the spirit. Speak about some some of the stuff that's happened during the course of this week. Um, what comes to mind, for instance, um, order, man. Okay, you brothers got to stay in order. Okay, and you got to leave. Um, What's, uh, what pertains to the elders, to the elders? Okay, what else has happened this week? I mean, you will, it'll come to me as, as as a lesson flows. Okay, things will come to me as the lesson flows. Okay, Trump's uh, uh, Trump's brothers in office. You had this guy, the seventy seventh uh, president, uh, the seventy seventh prime minister of the UK. And that might be a good topic to start on. Okay, let's start on that. Okay, let's start. Let's start about. Let's start on the uh, economic. Okay, a uh, 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 thing. Okay, the geopolitical, economic uh, 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 things that are happening out here within the UK and across the world, man. The perpetual cells that you have out there because people ain't making money anymore. All right, and that goes into what? That goes into the, the fact that we're at the we're at the time when the Lord, okay, is getting ready to to, to, re, to return, man. Okay, so pretty much you had it to where uh, 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 this guy, uh, Boris Johnson, has been elected uh, the new, okay, Prime Minister of the UK. All right, he's a 77, so. That could be a spiritual thing, okay? The seven, seven, and seven, and seven is what is 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 indicative of completion, all right? And you're seeing uh, 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 Britain's going to go through a uh, uh, Brexit, okay? On um, was it 11th of August, okay? In, in, in about in about a, a little little over a month, okay? Maybe about two months. They're going to go. Uh, th that's the Brexit deadline, okay? And this dude, uh, 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 Boris Johnson, all right? He's got the same uh, spirit and attitude. Okay, as 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 Trump's got, they they they're liking onto being a kinship. Okay, all right, and so hey, things can pop off as a result of that. All right, now let's start here within the book of James, the fifth chapter. All right, because this 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 whole system is based off of the the money side, the monetary system. All right, so-called Britain was supposed to be this great and prominent nation when it came to commerce. Okay, she was supposed to be great and, and prominent, but look at the look at look at how stupid they look on the world front right now. All right, with this whole Brexit thing. Okay. They're looking hella stupid right now, all right? So if, if, if this was the supposed to be the pinnacle of the financial side of the uh, three-headed demon that is the beast, beast system, that is uh, 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 the, the beast that's spoken about within the book of Revelations, the, the, um, the head, the, the, um, I'm sorry, the, the one head being America, the other head being, not head, but I'm just using that term loosely, rather more the frogs, okay, the three frogs, right? One of the frogs being uh, uh, Britain, which was the financial side. Okay, one of the other uh, 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 sides of it, which was America, which was the military side, and the other one was uh, Rome. So all of those those unclean spirits are in a certain kind of way they're failing. I, I suppose that's the aim of the point. The statement I'm trying to make is that they all failing. You look at America, all right. Oh, this this was a, a mighty nation in terms of being a superior and more advanced technologically when it came to warfare than any other nation. And you got it to where countries like Iran, they're just doing whatever they want these days. Why? Because the playing field, the more side set it up to where the playing field has been leveled out. How's the more side set it up to where the, level, the, the playing field has been leveled out? Okay, pretty much what, what's been, what's been uh, uh, available okay, to all of these nations is these missile technologies. 
That's what's leveled out the playing field. You look at the financial side, Britain's supposed to be the most financially prominent nation within the world. Okay, they were supposed to be the financial uh, side of the three frogs that make up the unclean spirits that's spoken about within the, the book of Revelations. And they're going through a whole turmoil with the Brexit thing. Okay, that goes to show you all of these nations that are us, are, 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 are subordinate to that are going to be on a lower level, man. Okay, these Edomite nations, and you got it to where other nations are coming up into, not, not necessarily into prominence because the scripture doesn't, didn't prophesy that they was going to come into prominence, but certainly they're becoming competitive. And what that's going to lead to is going to lead to an all-out world war three. Okay, so you got the financial competition that's coming against America and China, uh, sorry, against America and the UK. That came again, that came by way of what? That came by a way of, of um, you look at it from the oil perspective. Okay, the oil perspective. The Russia and Iran are teaming up, all right, that, that changed how the, the power structure worked out there in terms of the oil system, uh, in terms of the, uh, the oil markets. Okay, you look at the manufacturing side, you got it to where the so-called Chinese, they were manufacturing a better quality products at a much cheaper price, okay, that was basically outdoing the, um, um, the American equivalent, all right, the car market, the so-called so automobile uh, market, you, bas you basically got it to where in England, all right. I mean, I mean, I mean the manufacturing side of, of of things, but pretty much within England, the level of skill work that you have out here, the ethos in in, in these environment, in the manufacturing environment, is very low. Okay, you, the, the jobs for manufacturing, of which when you go into manufacturing, you're you're dealing with the, what's known as the middle class, right? And if you ain't got middle class jobs, then you thought you don't have no middle class. Therefore, you don't have no economy. Where you got it to where you got extremes, where you got the extremely poor and it's extremely rich. No economy has ever really run like that. You always have to have a, a majority, okay, maybe maybe 50, 60 percent of your economy has to be the middle class, and that's what's been eroded. And when you're seeing me speaking about the, the Brexit and 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 and, and the, the financial uh, uh, downfall of of Britain, okay, the manufacturing uh, uh, of, of 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 products, okay, being transferred out there into into Asia and other markets like that, you're seeing the dwindling of the middle of uh, the middle class. And with the dwindling of the middle class, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that there's gonna not gonna be any economy to speak about okay there's not going to be any an economy to speak about you okay yeah why right? there's not going to be an economy to speak about all right with no middle class there is no economy all right there's i'm pretty sure there's articles on that that you can google search and, and find out everything that you, you can find out about dealing with how the economy functions it, 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 uh, basically off of the middle class but that's been eroded away america eroded away Britain soon to be eroded away by way of the Brexit. But you brothers that are out there within these particular jobs, you gotta trust on the Most High, man. The Most High always had a way for His servants to eat, so you gotta trust on the Lord. You might have it to be you're in a situation where you're affected by these things, but you must not be spiritually affected by these things. The men of the Lord was gonna eat. Also, too, you should bring to to, to mind. So hold on a minute, maybe some of the decisions that you should be making right now, you're making long-term financial decisions right now. This ain't the time for that. All right, even the scripture says that what we're supposed to be programs because the Lord's the day of the Lord was going to come as a thief in the night. So your mindset is going to be on point, okay? All right, your decision making is that you're going to be making is going to be on point. All right, I mean, if you make a decision and you can, uh, of a, uh, and you know, of an assurance, you're not going to be affected by it, then hey, it is what it is, okay? So let's start here within the book of James, the fifth chapter, and the first verse, and says, Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your, for your miseries that shall come. Okay, so that's dealing with what? The affluent of this society, the middle class and up. Okay? Esau, let's start with Esau, the top, top, top pinnacle of Esau. The elite banking families, the rough chaps. We snap into the book of Psalms 149. And from the top, we find out that the elite banking families, they're going into hardcore slavery, man. Okay? Really, all of these nations are going to go into hardcore slavery, but guess what? You, you got a situation where uh, um, the elites, they're gonna be the first ones in captivity, okay? And and and, and, through, through, and, and and the rest of these people, because the scripture talks about how they was gonna dig deep, okay, into the into the grave. They're gonna dig 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 deep, deep into the ground so that they can escape, okay, the the hell that's gonna come by way of the ICBM nuclear missiles, right? Now, well, that's gonna lead them to they, they some of them are gonna survive, okay? They're gonna survive what the, the world's war three. In surviving the world's war three, you're gonna have a situation where. Okay, you're gonna have a situation where, okay, we're gonna have to dig them out from wherever they are, or if they they're in their aircrafts, we're gonna have to pick 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 them down from from those uh, locations, right? And in so doing, you got a situation where they're gonna be the first ones in slavery. So go to now, you reach rich, rich men, right? How ye you for your miseries shall come upon you. So let's start with the elite banking families. 
the book of Psalms 149 and 1, it says, Praise ye, Yahweh, sing, aloud to, uh, sing unto the Lord a new song. And we're singing the men of the Lord, okay, the, the elect, okay, the hopeful elect, the rival, okay, are singing unto Yahweh, Shimei Al-Shai, a new song. That's the song of, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, not the black Hebrew Israelites, that's a derogatory term. Okay, that's the thing that Esau, okay, created, all right, to, to, as, a, as, a, a, as a subculture, all right, to, to name you, to like a derogatory subculture, man. Okay, here it is, you coming into the understanding of who you are, okay, your heritage. Now he's created a subculture that he was going to, a, a subculture name, okay, a derogatory name that he was going to give unto you, okay, to take away the heritage that you're supposed to be, that's a, that was being bestowed upon you. Okay, so that's, that's Esau doing what Esau does, man. Okay, giving you names, okay, categorizing everything, man. But he gave you a cat category of which some of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, all right, assimilate to that category, all right, which you're not supposed to be assimilating to that category because what? Because we're just the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, but that, that subculture, when you check it out, pretty much that's, how, that's got nothing to do with the, with the scriptures, man. Okay, when you go into the Bible, okay, the, the, the Lord, okay, basically says that his heritage is likened unto what? A speckled bird. So you had it, you got it to where old Jake's, okay, all it, the Israelites, they come, they, go, they was going to come looking like every, every shade underneath the sun, man. They was going to come looking in every, uh, 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 what, what's the, how does the word go? Okay, in every color underneath the sun. I, you know, I ain't got no bare expression coming out of my mouth at this present time. But it was going to come like looking like every shade underneath the, 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 the sun, man. You was gonna have some brown ones, okay? You was gonna have some Jakes that was gonna be Israelites that was gonna be looking like so-called uh, straight up Edomite, like looking like this so-called Edomites, man. Now check that out, okay? So the Mosai's heritage is likened unto a speckled bird, but even more than that, you had it to where pursuant to the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter on the 64th verse, that the seed of Jacob was gonna be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. But in coming back onto Yahweh Bashim, I'll shout our true heritage pursuant to the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4, where he speaks about how thou we shall discontinue from our heritage, the, the heritage that the Lord gave us, in coming back to that heritage, learning about your history. When you're reading about the scriptures about King David, about uh, King Solomon, okay, about the righteous uh, uh, okay, yeah, kingdoms yeah. that we had, about your house side, you're reading about your history, man. Okay, and coming back to that history is what? Is likened unto a new song, man. Okay, so it says there, sing unto the Lord a new song. And uh, 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 and his praise in the congregation of the saints, the Israel be the Israel rejoice in him that made him. Okay, we're re rejoicing in Yahweh Hashem outside. Why? Because as the scripture says, the Lord was going to beautify his people with the salvation. All right, wisdom of Solomon the fifth chapter. So in in, in knowing that what's going to come upon the earth. Okay, and in knowing that the Lord has got us a, 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 a handful of men, okay, a remnant that He's dealing with, we we rejoice in the Lord, in, in the fact that we we are of that hopeful number, man. Okay. We rejoice in the, in, in the fact that what? We can make it, man. Okay, that's the thing to be excited about. And that's what, you know, you got to be careful. This, the scripture says that what? Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Now, we know we're oppressed, but there's the hope there, man. Okay, when you go to, there's a, th there's a difference between being depressed because you are oppressed and losing the hope, man. And you know when a guy has got lost, the, lost the hope. You can be oppressed, and the scripture says that what surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and that will make you angry. But to be, but to be of 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 uh, um, of uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Okay, uh, of 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 an unhopeful mindset. Okay, for lack of a better word, to be of an unhopeful mindset. Okay, is to take away the hope that is in your house side, man. Okay. And that's what you got to focus on. You got to focus on the fact that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim is going, uh, is going to send His Son Yahweh Shai to redeem us from the earth, man. Okay, to, to redeem the elect, you're supposed to be putting the efforts in. Okay, and the, the, the greatest effort goes into the mental side of things, man. Okay, the physical side of things sometimes it's easy. Okay, sometimes it's so obvious that it's just it's easy. You might get tempted by a particular temptation, and the temptation is so obvious, it's like you're like not. But what's more difficult is the mental struggle. Okay, the scripture says that surely we, we fight against what? All right, we, we fight against uh, 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 principalities, man. Okay, so you got particular spirits that are going to jump on you, okay, and make you think particular things, man. Okay, you might go through a certain adversity and you resist the, the physical temptation, but the mental temptation, that's where it's most hardest. Okay, and that's why the scripture says that what? When you come to serve Yahabah Shimei Al-Shai, set your mind aright, okay, you're supposed to set your mind in a good place because what because if you don't set your mind in a good place okay right you ain't gonna be able to do what it says after which is which is what it says when when, when um everything that is brought upon thee take cheerfully so it is an oppressive society but you're not supposed to be losing the hope and that's why the scripture says that what he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end
end. Okay, that's the that's the important bit until the end because the mental struggle will have you not want to push until the end, man. Okay, the mental struggle will tell you, look, let's 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 hang the let's hang let's let's hang the the, the, the garment, so to speak. Okay, let's hang the garment. Let's go out there and just live life. Okay, I'm an Israelite anyway. I'm gonna make it somehow anyway. I'm gonna be all right. That's a that's a that's a really that's a wicked ass mentality to have because when you go into the scriptures, the scripture says that what rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, man. Okay, the rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Now, why would not doing the work be rebellion? Because you are under instruction, okay, from the Most High, okay, that you're supposed to go out there and teach this word. Moreover, the night when you go into the book of Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel tells you that what, okay, when when uh, when a particular teacher is being given that that order to go out there and teach, and what's that order? The understanding of this truth. Once you understand this truth, guess what? You're under orders to go out there and teach this truth. If you don't go out there and teach this truth, the more side is going to require the blood of all them Jakes, two third Jakes that die for not being taught. Okay, now let's continue. The book of Psalms 149 and 2, it says, Let Israel rejoice in him that, uh, that, that made him, let the children of Zion, Zion be joyful in their king. Okay, so we're supposed to be jo we're joyful in Yahweh Hashim outside, man. Okay, the, 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 the uh, creator of the earth, the creator of man, life, all of that. All right, continuing. It says, uh, let them praise him in dance, let them sing aloud upon their beds with temple and harp. And we're going to really fully exercise this prophecy when the Lord establishes us on, on, on the earth as kings and rulers. Right now, we're just what? We're just dudes in garments, man. Okay, we ain't, you got some guys out there saying, talking about we're, 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 we're uh, 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 kings in the building. Yeah, in a, in, in a spiritual sense, yeah, we're kings in the building. But guess what? Come 6 o'clock, uh, come, 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 um, come 6 a.m. on Monday, that alarm clock is going to go off. Okay, because you're going to punch that clock in at, 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 at 8.30, okay? Come at, come 5.30 on that Monday, you're going to be what? You're going to be signing out, okay? Friday, you're looking for, for, for your check, okay? The, that means to say what? You're still, under, you're still underneath this man. You're still in slavery. But we're going to fully exercise the things of rejoicing, okay? The things of, uh, 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 what do you call it? What's the words I'm looking for here? A party and an enjoyment, all of these kind of things that pertain to what? To, 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 to being married. We're going to fully exercise that part of our spirit when the Lord actually makes us kings within the earth, like actual kings, not figuratively speaking, not spiritually speaking, but physically as well. Okay, because we, we are he, the prince with the power, we're the, we're the kings on the earth, yeah, no problem. Yeah, but we haven't been given that power yet because that power has got a time, a, a stamp that is associated to it. And that, that, time, that, that time stamp, okay, is going to be uh, 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 um, uh, 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 enacted, okay? It's going to be enacted it, when? When Yahweh Shai returns. That's why when you go into the book of Revelations, and I could get it later, when you get going to the book of Revelations, the scripture says that what? When Yahweh Shai, whom the world calls Jesus, was going to come, he was going to have crowns upon his, he was going to have many crowns upon his heads, and he was going to distribute those crowns unto who? Unto his men. Okay, the, those that were faithful unto him, unto death. Okay? He that, he, he, and also to another piece that comes to mind, he that loses, he that shall lose his life, and a lot of brothers really, you know, brothers put their lives on the line when you come out here, man. Anything can happen out here. Okay, anything can happen out here. Okay? So you put your life on the line out here, but then there was a reward. Okay, that's associated to it. Now let's go back into the book of Psalms 149, and we're going we're gonna to get the point. Okay, dealing with the elect, elite, all right? The elite Edomites out here, okay, that are likened unto the rich men, the top rich men within the earth. We'll deal with the middle class, okay, and we'll deal with the, with the serfs, okay? It says, For the Lord hath taken pleasure within his people, and he shall beautify the meek with salvation. I quoted it, I'm going to read it now, the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Okay? Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. And I'll show you what it, what, what, what it says here. Okay? Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. We're standing in great boldness. Okay? Uh, standing great boldness before the space of such as afflicted him and made no account of his labors. With, uh, that's dealing with us, man. Okay? That's dealing with it. That's, that's dealing with um. That's dealing with the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Esau ain't made no account for our labors, man. Okay, Esau ain't made no, no account for the labors of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's why there's this thing within the within the um within the news right now dealing with uh, 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 dealing with what's the word the, 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 the uh, compensatory reparations, man. That's what they. But the Esau ain't got the the rep, 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 uh, Esau ain't got the funds. Okay, uh, 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 to to reprimand. Okay, all you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. And really, when you go into the scriptures, the true rec, uh, 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 compensatory reparations is gonna be the slavery that we are gonna put these elites in. Now they got the riches, they got the gold. Okay, and they got the resources of the earth, the women. Okay, the cattle. Okay, the goats. Okay, they got all of that. 
but guess what? That's 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 a, a transferable assets that we're gonna take when we put them into in, in when the Lord puts them into captivity and subsequently delivers the power unto us. Okay, because brothers say, oh, when we take them into captivity, no, no, no. The Lord's gonna be the one that's gonna put you Edomites into captivity, but through the Lord and us being joint heirs with the Lord, we're gonna be rulers over you as well. Okay. Because it's a joint airship, but he's the one that's going to be doing the taking down. Now the Bible does speak about us being also too involved, okay, in 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 in, in the breaking down of the society. Okay, first we're breaking this word, this, this place down via the word, okay, with the word going out there, okay, the the the, the, the spiritual, okay, our uh, uh, strongholds, okay, are being broke broken down, okay, because you got strongholds when you go into where you got a, 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 a particular battle that's playing out. You must have seen it in the movies. Okay, you must have seen it in the movies. I believe Saul, Saul did it too. Okay, when you got a, a, a battle plan, okay, a battle plan is being played out. Now you might, you're gonna set up garrisons, okay, strongholds, okay, you're gonna fortify the city. That's the physical side. But you've seen it in many movies where they contact a, a, a witch, okay, to set up what? Spiritual strongholds. You understand what I'm saying? Let me repeat that again. You've seen it with, with, not only in these medieval films, okay, but the concurrent films as well, okay? They'll set up physical, physical garrisons, okay, physical strongholds, okay, to protect whatever city they're trying to protect. But they'll also contact what? The so-called witches and priests and whatever, whatever that's within the city to protect the city, right? Now check it out. That's what Esau has done. Okay, he's protected himself physically against the different nations and physically against the Lord. That's why they set up the the, the uh, project, uh, um, uh, the Star Wars project, okay. But also too, they've done that spiritually, where they got the different witches, okay, as spoken about within the Book of Isaiah, the forty seventh chap chapter, stand now with thine enchantments, okay. They've set up the the, the 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 spiritual, okay, strongholds to try to protect them against what their their kingdom fallen being uh, uh being attacked, okay, uh, to keep perpetuate, okay, the length of their rulership. They've set up spiritual strongholds by where these different witches that they have out there. Now guess what? Through this word going out there, the word of Yahweh Shimei Okay, those strongholds are being broken.